<coughs> are we okay? We are start now. Uh, currently, our discussion is about having many different applets, and then uh, with each of these applets, um, viewable by different people, okay. and then uh, uh, based on what they have uh, installed, just like the mobile phone, whereby uh, not everybody. Uh, um, has got the applet unless they install the applet on your Android phone or iPhone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, to understand, uh, to begin with, uh, I think to understand the big picture, uh, a very important part that I need to explain is that uh, uh, if you look at the account.com uh, structure. Uh, oh yeah. uh, let me open the Jamboard. Jamboard one. Uh, okay. So first of all. When we look at the account.com, there's a header, there's a footer, then inside there are many applets, uh, just like a, a mobile phone. And when you look at this, is the master database. Then there's a many different tenant database. Uh, currently, the user interface, when you see, log in and see uh, the information, uh, is controlled by the master database. Now, this one is very important mm. and it's not controlled in the tenant database. Mm. Uh, what happened is that when a user go to the account.com when they log in, yeah. each of these applet, let's say I have a, a great invoice applet, let's say a restaurant applet or maybe a supplier uh, orders uh, applet or something like that. Um, if this same applet is for Singhing tenant um, and if I have uh, access to another tenant called Cell Lab tenant, I may well be seeing two supplier orders applet on my screen two of it, one of it is pointing to sinking tenant, the other sales order is pointing to sell that tenant. Okay. So and whether this applet is pointing to Sengheng or this applet is pointing to sell lab, the thing is that at the end of the day we need to understand that there may be a thousand, a million tenants here and when there's a thousand and a million tenants here each time the user logged in, it doesn't make sense for us to actually make the API uh, hit 1,000 applet, uh, 1,000 database yeah. to find out whether this user has got the uh, access to a that tenant or not. Um, and in addition to that, each of this applet, just like your mobile phone, uh, you may be uh, moving this applet to the top. And then uh, the 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 uh, or yeah some uh, re rearrange the icon and all that stuff. So this information are all stored in the master database. Is that clear? Yes. yes. Okay. So um, after we are clear, the next step that we want to see is actually the database table itself. Because when you understand the database uh, structures then uh, it is very easy for you to do the coding. And for this part of the coding, actually, uh, we have, I had some discussion with Lina. I don't know how much she has done. So I will share my discussion with you today with Lina as well. Uh, maybe Lina has already done some work because, uh, and I have also recorded the video discussion that I have with Lina. And I need you to watch that video. So that um, uh, let me check which uh, which uh, video it is. Huh? Uh, if you go to the YouTube and then uh, go to the this channel, uh, my channel, and then uh, you click on the video, and then there's one with uh, Lina Samira discussion with Omar. 
DB schema clean uh, as clean up okay about liquid no this is about liquid based uh, DB schema for the back end no this is not uh, this this is the one applet catalog so um, this discussion on the applet catalog uh, let me copy the uh, okay if you look at this this is also log in subject and then after that we talk about the uh, same database table that uh, 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 about the permissions okay this this one is about the applet header the applet catalog link and the applet catalog header now uh, maybe you, you you're not sure what 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 it is but when you read the video i will just give you a little bit more explanation on um, um, uh, the big picture so if i go to the this blue color table just like uh, the what you see in the video here which is a blue color table mm -hmm. and then uh, if you look at this First of all, um, we know that there are many applets. Uh, these are the applets applications that uh, every applet will have a role in this table. But this same role in the table, um, maybe there's an endpoint that Lina has already created. If she has not been uh, created it, uh, we, need to create. we need to create. Okay. Then there is a login subject link. That is because each applet can be installed by many different users. users okay? um, and if you look at here, there's an applet header GUID. This is the foreign key pointing to here. Yeah. Applet login GUID is pointing to yeah. there. And just now I was explaining to you that the, the same applet can be for multiple tenants. Can, can be for different tenants, right? Yes. So uh, you see this tenant yeah, here. So invoice can be for tenant code, can yeah. be two lines, for yeah. example, and hands you have. Yeah, so that's why you see here there's a tenant UID. So if you have, we have here uh, yeah. two lines. Yeah. For, for one, for Adali using yeah. SimHank and Silab for invoice. So yeah. I have two records here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. correct. Okay. okay, makes sense. Huh? Yeah. So now for your purpose, for your purpose, you will be primarily focusing on these two tables. Yes. Uh, Um, yeah, mainly it's this but two this tables. Is, but this is for applet uh, catalog only. Yeah. The home screen. Yeah. What do you call that? The, the applications. Yeah. So then, for example, there will be like the store, add applet and go yeah. to purchase. Yeah. Is it like that? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Uh. So now uh, you need to pay attention uh, that although, let's say, on the user interface, yeah. Let's say I break the security, so I somehow I just inserted the link into this table. Okay. This table, I just insert you the link Understand. into this link. I link you there. Okay. After I link you there, you see on the screen, yeah, I can access to Seng Heng. Mm -hmm. Does it mean that you can really access? Actually, it may not. Mm -hmm. Because the moment you click into it, when you see this screen, you are actually really going to the Sengheng database. You are actually calling the API to access the data in that tenant. Yeah. And supposedly, if you are not a user in that tenant, you cannot. You cannot also because because uh, when you call the API to access, you should not. If you can, then you have to report it so that we fix yeah, the yeah, Python exactly. the security. Yes. But um, uh, uh, because. If you look at the same database, if if you are in that tenant from the tenant perspective, if you are in that tenant, yeah. your login subject will be copied to that tenant. Yes, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so now I come back to the master database. So of course, ideally, um, if you look at the mobile phone, uh, what happened is that uh, we have uh, uh, this catalog and catalog thing in fact this catalog thing also uh, if you watch the video that I had a discussion with uh, Lina we uh, have some fix to actually have a catalog link also pointing to this so it become a star schema that means that why we need to take the applet catalog link pointing to this instead of pointing to here is because um, imagine I have uh, Let's say uh, I'm a tenant 
uh, I'm I'm a boss, a big boss that I own Sinking and I own Cell Lab and I own BMW. So I own and I have multiple tenants. So um, when I in the master database um, create a catalog, because my finance director actually manage a few group of companies for me. So um, when I create a catalog, I can create oh catalog for finance director, catalog for branch manager, catalog for oh, this catalog. Okay. So in this catalog, I add ten different apps. So when I add ten different apps to this catalog, as a finance director, I will go to the Play Store. Uh, this is the Play Store, which is the Play Store. Let's say when I go to the Play Store, I have a home, and this home has got many also catalog. Category. So this this is like one thing like this is a catalog. Yeah. So I have this catalog, but this catalog are global catalog. That means that it's not specific to any uh, administrator or something like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, because when somebody created the catalog, uh, uh, and they if they grant permission for me to see the catalog, see then I will click here. This is uh, other catalog shared uh, to me. And then maybe I have one link is my catalog shared with others. So so I have uh, two to three hyperlinks here. So, so you, have, you can create catalog shared with you and you share them. Yeah, if I'm the creating the catalog I share with other people, uh, I may or may not necessarily be the person paying for it if you install it. Okay. So so uh, um, uh, because each tenant has got a subscription. Mm -hmm. So based on their subscription, uh, uh, then they will do the calculation, the payment and all that stuff. right? So um, if I can have a catalog, oh this is a point of sales uh, for cashier, so then it will have a, a point of sales with uh, inventory control with uh, something but don't have the finance module or something like that. So when you have multiple catalog and somebody actually, uh, we actually need to have a link that actually point to the applet because one catalog has got multiple applets, applets. Yeah. and uh, so that means that the, uh, but who has access to the catalog it depends on how we configure the permission yeah. right how we just do it inside yeah correct uh, how we can configure the permission but this is the, this is the <coughs> this is will be tenant yeah tenant level not yeah. a master level yeah correct Okay, so now there are a few things we need to do here now. Currently, because given the short timeline of uh, uh, sinking project and this and that, if uh, you were to do all this catalog, the whole thing, you need to understand the logic, then only slowly figure out it's too slow, too late. Alright, agree? But if you were to actually only focus on these two, are uh, still achievable. Yeah. So, if you're focusing on these two, okay, when you look at the API, there are actually uh, many ways of doing the API. And uh, if you look at the IntelliJ, uh, what you need to do is uh, to look at the. Uh, you know, loading the IntelliJ. Uh, this is the IntelliJ, and then uh, I open. Okay. Okay. When you look at the IntelliJ, if there are missing uh, endpoint that you need to use, but if it is not there, okay. Uh, you need to create one, but some of these controller currently here are using the old method, some are using the newer method. Both are in core one. Core two, we're going to completely re 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 revamp. But for core one, if you want to do it fast, you can look at this uh, purchase order uh, controller, uh, which is a uh, yeah, P. Then there's a purchase order two controller. Purchase, is, there's one and two? Uh, two. Purchase order two controller. I mean, 
is there a one also the one using the old method and the two using the new method? It's slightly newer method. Okay, so that but in the future we have even newer one which is under the core two. But uh, now you're not doing, you get no time for it. Uh, 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 so you want something that is really proven already working, something that you can just copy and paste the code and just change the database table name, and then it, it can save, it can deploy, it can, it can, it can function, okay, right? So what happened is that when you look at the core one uh, under the com, uh, under the controller. Then uh, you look at the platform and then the purchase order. Where was it? Just it's under the and then and then uh, under the yeah. ERP, um, under the purchase order two. Purchase order two controller. Now you have to be careful because don't forget this one is under tenant. No, I'm, to me, no, I'm not tenant. No, you're not doing tenant now. Yeah. You are doing the master. So when you're doing the platform master, that means that although you are copying the codes of the tenant that can save to the tenant database, but you actually need to make refer to some codes in the, yeah, in yeah, the platform yeah, so that you are saving to the correct yeah, database. Yeah, the master database. The master database. Yeah, Be careful, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so um, uh, that means that means that. When you can look at the purchase order two controller combined with some codes in the master tenant, you will have no problem, uh, absolutely no problem, inserting to the master database into this, uh, into these those two, two tables. those two table or even three tables in case. Yeah, yeah I understand. You understand, huh? So. Now we are not talking about the permissions. Who can actually install the server? We are not even talking so about those who, permissions. Yes. At least because the moment you have these two linked correctly, it will show and not show. It will friend. show and not show already. You know, at, yeah. at, at least for the supplier, it will show who will show who. So will not every, show, right? every user will he logs in, then it will check the master and return that the applets that is he supposed to see. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. So that's what we know, mean. Yeah. Now. yeah. Okay. So so um, uh, and then if you look at the Angular codes, actually um, I wanted to <laughs> fix this long time ago, but uh, don't have enough time. And the, uh, the other and Angular Angular. programmers are yeah Angular. So uh, uh, now I have to go to the Angular programming uh, Visual Code. Okay. Wow, this is covering from front to back database all the way to controller to uh, Angular, right? So if you are going to the Angular, uh, what happened is that uh, if you take a look at the uh, what is it? projects and then uh, under the projects there is a PWA platform, which is this one, okay? Then if you look at the uh, uh, content area, okay. Under content area, there's a HTML here. So uh, if you look at the HTML here, it is including a launchpad Omar. But it's empty. Um, new way of doing things should be inside the launchpad container, okay. Okay. Now, um, okay. First of all, I think we take a look at the launchpad Omar first. Okay, so if you look at the layout widgets, there is a launch pad Omar here. Okay, so when you look at the launch pad Omar here, you will see that it is actually um, currently if filter argument is project, these are pretty much hard coded, handle refresh. And uh, and then uh, if let the project sitemap and then filter here filter there and then uh, then it display the uh, the, applets. the applets okay, okay. so it display the applets now what do you do it? um uh, it display the car this and that and if you're looking at the TypeScript here uh, for this component um, it is actually hard coded right okay. you see. And when it's hard coding this, it is actually it did not put account.net, it just put account.com. And uh, so when I'm getting from even from the from the API, you will just it. Yeah, so 
so um, um, actually uh, previously we have a way to uh, detect the host name I think now yeah, there's a host name you can see this to get browser host name you know and all that stuff uh, 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 but these are all hard coded right and this hard coded one is working in the uh, Omar launchpad Omar something right now um, the thing is that if we change what is here it's going to break the Omar stuff correct not so, so no another uh, so what we do is that in fact if they can do the if here what we do is that actually because content area page this content area is the one that will actually also detect the host name this and that okay I think there's a handle home page this router navigate um, option I think previously there here there's a you see actually this is this is the correct one but it was removed by uh, Omar actually it somehow it breaks uh, previously I was already doing it uh, uh, correct but anyway no problem so right now what we need to do is that we actually need to take some logic here, From here. in such a way that at least at least for now uh, uh, we will make it such that all other website use the new one only the, only the two website uh, working on now only cell lab and accent hand goes uh, this one also you can remove because you see the account.com is, is not used for the customer it, it is for the global so we actually don't put celllabs.account.com we actually should remove this celllabs.account.com they, they, they can use celllabs.account.net no problem go ahead so you can remove this celllabs.account.com you can remove the singheng.account.net you can keep the account.com for now or you can remove it it's fine only leave the celllabs uh, without because it's his uh, anyway he's, he's doing the project we are not disturbing him so what you need to do is that in this content area you can also detect host name uh, here some you, you see here there are some example codes or if you want don't want to look at this example code you can also look at this example code where it is actually getting the browser host name so when you can get the browser host name what you can do is that in this component uh, you, you check if it is celllab.account.net go back to omar compo omar launchpad omar component which is this launchpad omar component but everything else just use everything else i do want to go back to the everything else go to the launchpad container which is the one that we want to do for global universal understand but the moment you do that suddenly you will realize you will realize that oh, oh when I do that everybody log into the account.com platform is empty because there's no <laughs> there's no error because everybody hasn't inserted the link yet you know because we need to actually insert it the link in the database yeah we need to insert this link in the, in the database <laughs> if you don't insert the link there's none yeah so right? we need to write something to write on it yeah so either we have to write something to to so insert it for everybody mm -hmm. so or we yeah or we intelligently um uh or we at least um uh have a button but is there no, no so for, sorry to yeah. is here we have the applets list from the in the, in the, in the database we don't we, have? we don't and it's okay because uh, inserting the applet list into the database uh, it can be done by one SQL yeah. and I understand that each applet should have a GUID right yes. so um, um, in the header list uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the header so I understand that so um, um, I don't know that whether there's any method that we can generate some GUID uh, for the for the applet because each of these applet 
uh, here actually need to have a geo ID and let's say we have a we need a code here if you look at the each of the applet the, there's a code right actually the come in come in so okay so each of the applet when you name the code you can do it systematically for example you this one you can name it account dash platform dash uh, the project name uh, because it's always start with uh, account dash platform dash core or dash erp dash setting then followed by dash the applet so it, it, it can be really long but oh. anyway anyway uh, our code is uh, 255 i don't know whether it's long enough uh, i mean if not enough we can increase it to 1000 character or something like that it's fine um, either we do dash 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 everything sometimes can be confusing or the code we design it in such a way that we use dash and dot that means that account dash blockchain if it jumps to the this one then is a dot uh core dot uh something that, right uh, so you you just like java the dot yeah, is yeah, a java directory yeah 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 yes. right okay so so if you need to define the code then i think that's a, a structured way of defining a code so that when the moment we see the applet code immediately we also know yeah, where who, uh, which which vendor and then uh, which so for syncing uh applet we we already know like uh, this is a syncing dot uh let's say here we have a b2b procurement uh edo or something like that syncing dot b2b procurement dash warehouse dot uh, actually this one is wrong right these these are not the applet but anyway stuff access internal deal applet or something like that yeah follow the java naming com convention mm -hmm. so so this applet when it is being inserted into the database in the master it is um, actually um, when it's being inserted to the master it, it has to be unique because each applet uh, only appear once yeah right? different applet but it's belong when we install them it will be come to the tenant yeah. yeah but for now where is this applet coming from the one Omar are showing it should be somewhere in the database right sorry say again. the applets that if you go to account.com now uh, uh, uh. you will see the applets yeah where are they coming from okay currently um when uh, let's drill down the code together here uh here this one okay so it is uh filter arguments this whole thing filter arguments uh project these are just uh, some filters mm. i think he did it in a pipe uh, which is uh up there could you go to the HTML maybe you can see okay so this is the filter uh, let projects of sitemap so that means that the, the sitemap is coming from so it's coming from the sitemap okay so the sitemap is uh, here so somehow it goes into the sitemap and uh, where it comes from the sitemap you go to the you need to go here and check what is in so you click on this one. This one? Yep. Okay. Find users. Just uh, control F site map. Uh, find one. Take references. Yeah. This site map. Service so get site map. Get site map. Where is this method? Okay. okay, so you put it inside a site map service. You need to command command, uh, command F. Uh. Command F, then you find out uh, site map. Not here. Uh, in session. No, here, this one, if you click control command, you can. Yeah. So, his, uh, his, there's a model site map. Oh models. my goodness, so, I understand. Yeah, so he's. Oh, it's a JSON. Okay, it's yeah. not database. Yeah, it's not the database. 
No, because I it's a I was looking what is the latest source. Yeah, yeah. So it's a JSON. Yeah. So because it's it's a JSON here currently, it's just uh, coding it out. out. Um, so but, this one but should what, be in the database. Yeah, that's why I was endpoint. telling you that the uh, database endpoint. This is uh, of course in the future we will do protection on the API to set that only certain people can create the applet, can update the applet, can can uh, add the link to the user, uh, permission setting, all those uh, security, but now you just need to make it work first. Yep. Right. I'll just read first now. Ah. Insert right. them and read. Yeah. And install the link for certain people. Yeah. I will maybe write a script or something. Yeah. So this one, it I'm is sure quite important. I know, I know what to do. It is quite important for you to watch this video, which I will send it to the Telegram okay. uh, for Sorry. you uh, under the big ledger. So I will put here uh, Aldali and uh, Stephen. Okay. 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 So for now, what I will do, I will just create an endpoint in Postman to make the link as well. Yeah. So so what happened is that you are working on the core one, the whole yeah. method, because yeah, yeah. we can't wait for Lina. But I want to tell you that Lina may be working on the same thing, on but on two. core two. So but we, I will, I will talk to her. Yeah. Then if she's done it, okay. Good. Okay, good. If, if but not, if she does, just you, do, you don't have time to wait. Because because what she's trying, she's having a meeting with me tonight. Actually, ten thirty online. If you want to join, feel free to join it. Or you just uh, mute yourself and then you just play at the side. Uh, you can do your own thing. You can hide your face. You don't need to show the camera. You but you're just watching. Uh, it's up to you. So so um uh uh. Uh, tonight uh, I'll have. A but we'll, even though we, you will be recording as well. Yeah, I'll be recording as so, well. Yeah, no, no so sure. these days. Uh, uh, yeah, it's good to record. Because you see, uh, today our discussion. Uh, if I didn't record, right? We don't know mm. by the time you finish the discussion. Wait, where is it? It's very difficult to find. Now I record, I just post it. Then you uh, can get some idea. You can get idea. And yeah. sometimes some part, if I talk too fast, then you can actually play back and pause and see the screen. Even ask question in this yeah. minute, that minute. Yeah. So you're planning to have two endpoints, right? Or I will create one, yeah, an endpoint to read and one endpoint to, to insert the applet, one endpoint to link them. Yeah, you can use get postman. Do you know yeah. how to use yeah. get postman? Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of it you can uh, use get postman. Okay. But uh, how about the generation of the oh generation of GUID is easy because UID. when you post the endpoint, some of the endpoints are smart enough. If you leave the GUID empty, it will create it. If, if not, then it I will. will put a check there. You can yeah. generate UI using your UID. There's a library. Uh, yeah. So just yeah. 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 when you insert in the database. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. So uh, I stop first. Uh, wait now. Uh,